Hi everyone. This week my students are learning about how to ride scooter boards. So as you can see on the agenda, after our warm up, um, we'll spend about three or four minutes right here at my board. And I'll give some direct instruction and we'll talk about the importance, why are we learning about scooter, scooter boards, um, we'll talk about safety, we'll give demonstrations, and then the last thing is for the game I'm going to have someone demonstrate ready position and how to do freeze when I blow the whistle. The game today is a scooter tag called Spaghetti and Meatballs and I got the idea for this game off of YouTube from Teach Phys Ed so thank you to him for sharing this wonderful game. The I can statement is I can ride a scooter safely. I did a Google search for scooters for images and I found this picture it says best day in gym class until you ran over your fingers and of course I thought that was pretty funny but if you've ever had a student get hurt on a scooter it's not so funny um, they're really in a lot of pain and you feel bad but it doesn't have to be that way so I put the picture up there today to show the class and the kids who's that happened to they can relate and I'm going to teach them about how to ride the scooter safely so that you don't injure yourself so in the game spaghetti and meatballs um, about 15 to 18 of the students will be riding scooters and they'll stay on the basketball court here and I will have them ride on their bottom or their knees and then we have spaghetti and meatball taggers so the two cage balls are the meatball taggers and then one person will ride this scooter and they'll hold the spaghetti noodles. Um, I would prefer to have the really longer pool noodles but I didn't have any so I'm just using the small ones. If a player is tagged by either the meatball or the noodles, spaghetti noodles, they have to stand up off their scooter and walk or jog to line up by the cone. So to start the game, not everyone will be on a scooter. So for a class of 24, you might have 18 start on a scooter, and then you'll start with a few people lined up there, and then you'll have your taggers start down here. And then um, I'll show a picture or a video later of the ready position to start the game. And then once a student is tagged, they leave their scooter, go get in line, and whoever is next in line will come and get on their scooter and play the game. So I'll try to take a video later of a class playing this game. It does move very quickly, so if you get out, you're only in line for usually 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute, but it moves very quick. And I've played this with kindergarten through fifth graders, and they really had a lot of fun with it. The last thing to mention about the meatball taggers I have them walk around the gym and push the cage ball. Um, I don't let them run and I don't let them roll it um, to tag someone and like push it hard. They have to hang on to the ball and push it and try to touch people with it so they can't let go of the meatballs. Thanks. Have a great day.